Hey, so we just want to show you quickly how to capture your learning in Grasshopper. Uh, welcome to my son's drum room, right? Um, here we go. So when you first log in, you're going to land to a page that looks like this one. And what I want to see you do then is to just hop back in. That'll load up your page here. And it takes you right into where you last were working. Uh, in order to capture your learning, then we're going to go back to the project menu up here. So up at the top, just a little bit to the left, click on project. And then here it shows, you know, all the projects that you've accomplished, all the different sections you've finished. And so if I wanted to show that I'd finished drawing shapes, I need to have my window so that I can see all of these green check marks. If I can't see them, I need to zoom in and out and you can use control plus and minus for that in Chrome. So if I want to make it smaller, or bigger, just so I can see all of them in this screen, control plus or minus. Once that's ready, now I need to then add some evidence that it's me actually doing the, the learning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three dots in the top right here. When I do that, it brings up a menu here and all you need to do is just click on settings. And now your name shows up on the screen and it still shows in the background all this fundamentals that you finished this section. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a screenshot. Now there's lots of ways to do it. Different computers have different ways of doing it. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer, you can hold down the Windows key, Shift key, and press S. And that gives me this. Uh, you probably can't see it, but you'll take a screenshot, save that, and hand that file in. So learn for your device, if it's Windows or a Chromebook or if it's, um, you know, Mac, then make sure that you know how to take your screenshots. Grab that screenshot and upload it as your evidence for completing. And I want one screenshot per section. So I have the drawing shapes here is one section. And then variables is the next section. And then arrays is the next section. And if statements. And that should be as far as we're looking to go at this point. Um, if you want to go farther than that, you're welcome to. So uh, hopefully that clarifies how you want to capture your learning. And if you're still having questions, please send those. I can update a new video or do something like that or just answer you individually. All right. Hopefully that is helpful.